So let's go through a couple of more interesting industry problems that kind of brings a lot of the concepts that we've gone through together. So in this first problem, we've got 2 cubed times 8 to the minus 5 thirds times 1 over the square root of 2 is equal to 2 to the k. And we need to find that value of k. So what you want to do here is you really want to write everything as 2 to the something. Okay, now we've got the 2 cubed, that still that's, can stay the same. The 8 I know is 2 cubed, so that's 2 cubed to the minus 5 thirds. And the 2 here, well, the square root of 2 is 2 to the half, 1 over that is 2 to the minus a half. Okay, so I've written everything as 2 to the power of something to start off with. Now that 2 cubed can stay the same. This, these powers multiply together, so 3 times minus 5 thirds is minus 5. So we've got 2 to the minus 5, and we've got 2 to the minus a half there. So using this law of indices, I can add the powers, because the base numbers are the same. So we've got 3, take away 5, uh, take away a half. And I need to work out what that is. Well, 3 take away 5 is minus 2. Take away another half is minus 2 and a half, or minus uh, 5 halves. OK? So minus 2.5, effectively. OK? Which is the same as minus 5 halves. So k is minus 5 halves. And that's the answer we needed to find. Now, in the second problem, We've got uh, write x squared y to the 5 over root x divided by x to the 3 halves over y to the 7 as a product of powers of x and y. A product of powers of x and y. Product means times, so we're going to have x to the something times y to the something. That's how we want to write it. So if we look at this first fraction, we've got x squared y to the 5 over... Now, the square root of x is x to the half, so I can write that as x to the half. Then we've got divide by x to the 3 halves over y to the 7. But if you divide by a fraction, that's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So multiply by y7 over x to the 3 halves, or y to the 7, rather, over x to the 3 halves. At this point, you can then multiply the numerators and the denominators together, okay, when you multiply fractions. So you've got x squared, and then y to the 5 times y to the 7 is y to the 12. And you've got x to the half times x to the 3 halves, so the powers add together. A half plus 3 halves is um, 2. So you've got x squared. And so x squareds here, we've got one on the top, one on the bottom, they can cancel, can't they? So we're just going to be really left with y to the 12. Now you could write that as x to the 0, y to the 12, but really y to the 12 is perfectly fine as the answer. OK? So it's really you being able to manipulate these laws of indices going forward, okay? And some problems uh, may appear like this um, on the exam paper. You just need to be able to decipher the laws yourself.